what advice do you wish that you'd given yourself when or, or before you started your creative journey? <sighs> well, I think the, the biggest one is just believe that you can. There are times when you're the only one that believes you can. Um, like I was mentioning before about running the five marathons and 20 halves, everybody I talked to thought I was insane. And I thought, I can do this. I can do this. And once, once I really got started at it, the same thing with my painting, once I really felt deep in my heart, I can do this. Everyone else noticed it. And they're like, yeah, yeah, she can do this. And then people started to, you know, cheer me on. And, and now that this is where I'm supposed to be. So that for sure. Um, I, I would say another one is uh, create what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. um, it comes through in everything that you do. Um, whatever, I, like I was saying, when I, uh, when I create a piece that I'm fighting through, I can, I can see it. I can feel it. You know, that tension that, oh, this isn't going. There's times when I, I, I know this is right. I know where this is where I'm going. And it just feels great. And I, it's there. It's in the product. Um, it's in my creations. And those are always the best pieces. Those are the ones people go, ah, oh, there's, I can see you with that. So that, I love that. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Um, make time for you. I, I cannot tell you how many times I've had to put off laundry for a day or, you know, the crock pot is your friend. <laughs> um, but we just don't take time. Uh, you get so caught up in, in the creating and the marketing and the sales and the, I, I, I tell, I tell other creatives that um, I firmly believe that being creative is a full-time job mm -hmm. being marketing and sales is a part-time job on top of that you might have to take care of relatives uh, you know parents that are older small children you might have another job um, yeah. gee i need to exercise and oh, i need to eat right and well i need to sleep those all have to be taken into it and i think that uh, especially as women we feel like we're super women and, uh, you know, I left my tight somewhere, my cape somewhere, but uh, we're not. There's times when we really have to step back and say, you know what, I'm taking the day off or, hey, you know what, we'll do takeout tonight. You just, you, you got to do something for you. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, learn from every rejection. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. I, I can't tell you as an artist, as a painter, uh, we, um, we have opportunities to uh, do shows, exhibitions. Um, I'm actually at a point now where I am applying to them further away. I live in Texas. Um, just coming up pretty soon, I'm going to be applying to some exhibitions in New York. Those are things I have to pay for to ship and all that. Oh, but, right. um, right, right. but I can't tell you over the last couple of years where I've applied, I've felt strong and, and I can do this and I've got a rejection letter or I've gotten uh, nothing. Sometimes they don't send you anything. And, mm -hmm. you know, then you get kind of upset. Well, why didn't they, why didn't they take me? Or you'll go into a gallery or, or to a, a possible consignment situation. And now, oh, sorry, we're just not interested. Okay. Well, I, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, maybe could you take a moment to give me a little bit of feedback? What did you not like about it? Try to, um, Try, try to open a uh, negotiate or not negotiation, try to open up um, some kind of a, a conversation where it helps you later. Um, you don't, you know, I, I know it's pain. I know it's painful when you get those rejections because it really is. It feels, you know, it's personal, but sometimes it's not personal. Leave the situation on an up note. You know, mm -hmm. Think of your time. Um, you know, please keep my email or, you know, keep a note of my website if in the future you need me because you never know where you're planting those seeds. You never know down the road where someone might need that writer or that sculptor or that painter or that designer. So um, leave it on an up note. Don't, you know, I mean, in your head, you might think, oh, <laughs> but never let them know that. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> never let them know that. Um, like I said, competition is good. It, I, I, there are so many folks in my industry, um, car artists, vehicle artists, a lot of men. Um, I've had I've actually had some people say to me, aren't most car artists men? I'm like, yeah, they are. And <laughs> <laughs> so what? Um, competition is good. Um, if you if you see someone else who's doing something, you know what, that that a lot of times will get those juices flowing in your head and push you to something greater later on. Um, and I, I'm a firm believer in that. Um, I don't compete with others. I really don't. I, I appreciate what each each individual does. I um, 
I don't try to compare myself. I know, I know we often do that. You might, as a writer, you know, you see someone, wow, that was an amazing piece of work. I do the same with art, but you have to step back and say, okay, this is an amazing piece of art. I'm different. I'm a little mm -hmm. different. My style's different. Yeah. And um, just build on what you do. Um, I yeah. think that's really important. I guess probably the last thing that I would have told myself was um, keep at it. You're worth it. You're so worth it. What you're doing is meant to be. And, um, you know, it's in the beginning when I started off, I, uh, it kind of reminds me when my husband one time bought me uh, rollerblades and I fell down and I fell down and I fell down and I tried it for a couple of months and I thought, you know, I'm just not coordinated and I sold them. And so when I started painting, uh, I felt like the roller skates. I thought, gosh, you know, I just, I, I'm not very good at this. And why is it that what I have in my head, I envision can't come to my hands. Mm -hmm. And my husband says, you know, this isn't roller skates. This is, this is what you want to do. This is what you're doing for yourself. You need to keep at it. And sure enough, the longer you do it, the better you get. And pretty yeah. soon you'll be doing figure eights. So. <laughs> <laughs>